Well, it's been an historic time of, in uh, East Sudan. They have taken a vote there this week whether to secede as part of South Sudan. Voters are deciding whether to form their own country, and it looks like the vote will be overwhelmingly yes. One local woman knows the people of South Sudan on a personal level. Tonight she shared her story with our own Jacqueline Inglaze. Jackie? Sitting in her parents' posh Georgetown home, Lynn Denton knows how fortunate she is in life. She spent three weeks in South Sudan last November. It was very intense. I would say every day felt like a week long, and the three weeks felt like three months long. Denton was working with the Swiss company Medair, providing basic public health to the Sudanese. All the while, there was no running water, working toilets, or places to bathe. It's just physically a, a very hot place with no air conditioning. It's like being in Texas with no air conditioning in the summer is the heat. The hot weather led to worsening health conditions. Her work helped some fight an outbreak of Kala Azar, a tropical disease that has never been seen in the United States. One child, I saw Dr. Jill right there, transfuse blood from the mother and just put it right into the child immediately to save his life right there. Denton says most Austinites would not believe the conditions in this country. Seeing hundreds of people just lying on the ground because they just walked with nothing and they might have a pallet that they're sleeping on on the ground. She herself struggles with the fact that in our day and age, things could be this dire. Dr. Jill and our doctor, our med air doctor, worked at least 18-hour days every day trying to see all the people that showed up. They couldn't just quit when the sun went down. During her time in South Sudan, she also saw the hope and excitement that came with voting for secession. On the 9th of November, I remember there was big celebrations in the town that we were at. People were thinking, okay, it's the 9th, uh, two-month two anniversary before we get to vote. Denton says while the Sudanese have high hopes for their country should the referendum pass, they also realize they're poor. She says many of them have asked her to spread the word that they do not want money, they only want knowledge and help from the international community on how to run a country. Reporting live in the studio, Jacqueline Inglace, KXAN, Austin News.